What up, world? Uh, in this video, I just wanted to use this opportunity as I was basically about to clean my cage and I said, I forgot I'm trying to, you know, get it popping on this YouTube and I just want to meet a lot of more people and I just want to connect with a lot of people, Frenchie lovers, bulldog lovers. So uh, every chance I get, I'm gonna try to blog and I'm gonna try to post a video. So in this particular video, I want to give y'all the secret hack to how I just really keep my kennel, my dog cage, whatever you want to call it. This is how I keep it, you know what I'm saying, really, really clean. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you all right now, it's a water pit. You know what I'm talking about? So if y'all watching this video, before I even get into it, make sure you use a water pit. You know what I'm saying? These bad boys, the one I got, it probably went up but like 90 bucks. So uh, the chemistry with the water pick, of course, you know that it's made to get, you know, plaque off teeth. But these little bad boys are very strong, you guys. So as you can see, these kennels are worth it because they do help, you know what I'm saying? They help with the boo-boo and the pee and all of that. But, you know, we all know that these things don't do everything. We're still going to be picking up poop every day, you know, until our dog is just 100% trained. And until that time comes, this is the secret hack to how you're going to get into the, you know, small nicks and cur, you know, everything that you can't get just with your hand. So as y'all can see right now, we're going to, uh, we'll start with the low pressure and we'll just see what that's going to get. See how much low. Oh. One more thing I gotta do. All right, one more quick thing. Uh, I see that right now. Huge mistake, huge mistake. Cause I actually just moved this upstairs. I just moved my dog kennel upstairs. So one huge mistake that I already see, all of the poop is gonna splatter. You know what I'm saying? If you can see, all the poop is gonna hit that back wall. So that's what we don't wanna do. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is I'll get a, uh, I'll get a Give me just a second, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, world, I'm back. And as y'all can see, uh, it is real. You know what I'm saying? So most definitely learn from that quick mistake. You wanna put something, you know, behind or in front of the poop because this these little bad boys, they blow. As you can see, it's, it was just knocking it out. So back to it, we're gonna keep it on low right now and we'll only use the high pressure in, until we have to. So I'm just gonna get into all of these cracks as you can see the rest of the poop is already down there. So we're just gonna get all of these little cracks out. You know what I'm saying? Everything that we can't get you know, with just our hand or a paper towel. you guys and as y'all can see this bad boy is squeaky clean squeaky squeaky clean i mean through the cracks so all i have to do now is get a paper towel and as y'all can see it most definitely would have splattered on the wall which we seen that already. But yeah, if I wasn't recording, I would most definitely have filled it up one more time. But I guess I'll just pre-do it right now, being that I do this a lot. So my cage is never really dirty. 
I mean, when people come over, they like, man, bro, we wouldn't even think you had dogs over. You know what I'm saying? There's no smell, no type of smell at all. I do keep a plug-in. If uh, you can see, there's a plug-in over there in the cut. I got one plug-in, bam. And besides that plug-in, man, you wouldn't even know I had a dogs in the house. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is actually where my English bulldog is, and she basically she's 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 starting to not pee in the cage. So all of this spray just came from. Uh, all of this water, I'm sorry, just came from the spray. This is actually not even pee. This is just poop. So my English bulldog, she's she's just now learning how to not, she doesn't like pooping. I mean, peeing in the cage, but she still will poop. And my English bulldog, okay, I see Indigo has peed one time, but he barely, he barely will pee in his cage. So that even just shocked me to see that he did pee one time in his cage. But uh, he never poops. You know, my Frenchie never poops in the cage. He's been like kennel trained from pooping since he was probably about 11 weeks, 12 weeks. You know what I'm saying? He stopped pooping in his cage at 12 weeks old. Here are my English bulldog. This is her section. I mean, she's six months and she's still like will poop in her cage. I will take her out sometimes, bring her in. So the thing about that is... You guys, if you got if you got English Bulldogs or Frenchies and you're having their problem, you just got to continue to work with them. Um, you know, don't spank your dogs, you guys. Like, I don't spank my English Bulldogs or my Frenchies when they're not behaving. I just kind of, you know, I find other ways to discipline them. I don't give them treats and things like that, all right? So we're working with my English Bulldog, um, and it takes time. I know some people that it took them a year, you know what I'm saying, to get their bulldog 100% fully trained. So give it some time, you guys. Don't get frustrated when you take your dog outside and you bring your dog back in and you wonder why it's just peed on the floor. The worst thing to do is to whoop your dog because it really ain't going to do much for you other than just, you know, break the love and break the bond that you have with your dog, you know what I'm saying? But I hope this video did help. Be sure to like this video if it helped. Be sure to leave comments. What's your method of keeping your cage clean? As y'all can see, I do have two dogs in this cage. They're downstairs right now. But I do have two dogs that live in this cage, which they're barely ever in it. But they do. This is their cage. And when I'm asleep, this is where they are. When I'm gone, this is where they are. So um, I just want y'all to know that this is a very... Um, easy method of how to clean the cage and that is how you want to keep them clean i've had this cage for about seven months now so it's fairly new but it's still you know got dust on it so you know what i'm saying this this cage is working so um yeah more videos coming soon one love peace